Uh, I'm Henry, and uh, we are Team Lima, uh, hard at work there. So our brief from IMC was to write an app that would allow blind people to know what's in front of them. Uh, so the rear camera of the smartphone would take an image and would use a neural network to try and caption it. So designing the blind app for blind people obviously has some challenges. They can't see any buttons, so we make large, simple targets. You can tap anywhere on the screen to get started. Uh, you can also activate it by voice. You just have to say, what is this? And it will go and do its thing. We also integrate with Android TalkBack, which is the native way that Android tries to provide a nice user interface for uh, blind users. Uh, it describes where elements are on the screen. Uh, so we integrate natively with that, providing a very familiar experience for visually impaired users. Feedback is also difficult. They obviously can't read off the screen. So when you take an image, uh, the phone vibrates. We use haptic feedback to indicate that the image is being processed. And we then read out what the neural network thinks is in front of the device. So in this case, this was a picture of my room. It says, a living room filled with furniture and a shelf, which is pretty accurate. We also give tips to improve accuracy. Being blind, you won't know what the image looks like. If the image is too dark, if it's blurry, if it's skewed, you don't know. So we uh, process the image separately to try and advise on what the user can do there. So that's the Android app. The uh, neural network itself is very resource intensive, so we run it on a back-end server. Uh, Tudor can tell us more about that. So the, the neural network is run on a server hosted by Amazon, and basically what the server does, it, it is a REST API that receives an HTTPS request from the, from the client, and does basically two things. One of them is processing the image through, a ten, to, through TensorFlow. Uh, the neural network itself is a model an open source model developed by, uh, Google, by, developed by Google, and it, it is basically a combination of a convolutional neural network, which you can, which you can see here, and a big, quite a big recurrent neural network made out of many LSTM cells. Yeah, the neural network is pretty good. I mean, it gives good results, but there are some outliers. For example, it really sees everywhere skateboards and scissors. Or uh, once when Ambush was testing the app, it was it said a young boy standing in the kitchen holding a refrigerator. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also do image processing uh, here. So what actually happens? We uh, look for faults in our images. We mainly for seeing if the image is too dark or too blurry. In order to find out if it's too blurry, we use OpenCV and Laplacian to get this result. So thank you. And this demo that. Right, um, Tamara is going to say a blind user reading the screen to the Signing in. Tap to say, what is this? Sign listening. So uh, she's going to take a picture of, of it. What is this? So we made the app um, very easy to use for visually impaired people, and it's going to read out the result in a few seconds after the server comes back with the result. Yeah, um, well, it's another picture. Um, no, I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, 